Hi, hello. So, lips. I think lips is one of the things that the more detailed you draw it, the scarier it looks. And today, let's learn how not to do that. As always, I'll break down the anatomy into simple shapes first, and then show you how I stylize the lips into rendering it. By the end of the video, we'll paint the lips inside the portrait. Okay, so shape of the upper lip can be simplified with this sort of heart shape in the middle and around the triangles on each sides. And a bottom lip can be simplified into an upside down croissant. Yes, I just learned how to read it. Or divide it into these two shapes. The same shapes goes for the three-quarter angle. But keep in mind that some shapes will be smaller because of the perspective. Now you might notice that the shapes are rounded and this is because our lips are curved. You can see how the crusty part, crusty, really? Like the lines on the lips are curved and sort of wrapping around it. In a side profile, we can only see half of the heart shape and one triangle for the upper lip. And a small pillow and a triangle for the bottom lip. This may not apply to every lip shape, but usually in side profile, the upper lip is more angled, while the bottom lip is rounder. Also, the lips are not always in one line. Like, my bottom lip is actually more protruding than the upper one. Okay, to draw the lips, first create a line, then make the end thicker, like the tip of a Q-tip. This is to give some depth to the lips. I usually just forgo the guide and draw the bottom lip, but if you're still a beginner, you can create another layer and draw the guide first. After that, draw the lips with thin lines. As you can see, I even leave some part blank as well. This is because we will add thicker lines on some parts later. We don't want the lips to be this one thick line. No, because there will be no depth. Generally, the thicker lines will be on the corner of the mouth, these two parts of the lips, and below the bottom lip. Now here's the fun part. Now that we know the basics of the lips, we can simplify and exaggerate the shape to fit our own art style. Here I have the line from before, and what I do is I alter the heart shape a little bit, and instead of a straight line, I created some sort of an M shape. It makes the lips look more dramatic. Of course, I make it thicker in these parts as well. As for the bottom lip, instead of croissant, I use milk bun as a guide instead, to make the lips look more plump. Make the bottom thicker as well, and as you noticed, I do not draw the upper lip line. I don't know, it just doesn't look good in my art style. I do the same thing with a 3 quarter angle. As for the side view, I don't exaggerate it that much, just adding a tiny angle on this part. Now you might be thinking that drawing closed lips are really easy, and you want to draw open lips, because let's face it, it looks hotter than closed lips. Well, the first thing you want to do is to find a reference, as usual. And in my reference, the lips is open from the upper lip, so there's barely any curves or changes in the lower lip. Since the opening is small, do not draw the teeth. Just like lips, you draw the teeth too detailed, it looks terrifying. Make dark triangles in the corners to give an illusion of teeth between the lips. Actually, you know what? Even if the opening is bigger, drawing the teeth individually is just scary. Just focus on this triangle in the corner like before. Usually, I also add tiny bumps at the bottom for some shape. Okay, let's not dwell too much on this and let's move on to coloring. As usual, I apply muted colors first and then add some shadows at the corner and below the bottom lip. Now it's totally up to your preference, but I like to add darker color in the inside of the lips, just to give it a gradient look. To create that juicy, bee stung lips, that actually sounds awful, but anyway, for juicy lips, don't just rely on highlights. Create a triangle with darker shade to kind of divide the lips, so you can really accentuate the plump parts of the lips. After that, I just add random scribbles as highlights. Don't forget to add one on top to make it extra juicy. Now create an overlay layer to color the lips. The good thing about coloring the lips in separate layer is that you can easily change the lip color with hue and saturation. By the way, if you want to draw the filtrum, don't draw it like this. Or like this. Draw it softly and let it blend into the skin. If it still looks ugly, just delete it. It's that easy. Now let's get into the portraits. I made a lot of portraits with closed lips, so I decided to create two portraits for this video where the lips are doing stuff. Do not take that sentence out of context. Here I have applied a lot of concealer to Ayato's lips and took away his boba for a while so he can shade it easily. On the first stage, just shade the lips with the same color as the shadow on the skin. 
This is to make sure that the lips aren't just slapped into his face like a sticker. I colored the inside of his mouth with dark brown since the opening is quite small and will be covered by the boba straw. Check your reference from time to time. I noticed his teeth are too big so I shaved it a little. Now let me adjust the colors first before adding more colors into the lips. For this portrait, I want to keep his lip color natural, like MLBB, is that what it's called? It stands for my lips but better. By the way, you can also try this circular highlight. It is a simple and unique way to highlight the lips. Alright, since this is Ayato, let's not forget the beauty mark near his lips, and we are done. Now for the next portrait, I actually lost a huge chunk of the footage, so I only have the clip studio time-lapse recording, so bear with me on this one. Okay, I'm starting with a sketch. Sorry if it's quite an ugly sketch because I drew this at like 2am. Since in the previous portrait we tried MLBB, we'll try a stronger color, this time like cherry red. But to make it natural and not stickered on the face, I colored it oranges at first before gradually turning it into red using overlay layer. I also blend the lower lip line with the skin so the lips look natural even if it has a strong red color. After adjusting the color and adding purple streaks on the portrait for no reason, we are done with the second portrait. Okay, that concludes the lips tutorial. Some of you requested this tutorial, so I hope this video helps. By the time this video is up, I would have my wisdom teeth pulled, finally. Why is it called wisdom teeth anyway? It's giving me migraine. By the way, thank you so much for 1.5k subs. I know it doesn't seem like much to some people, but for me it is quite a milestone. So thank you so much for all of your support. I hope you enjoyed today's video as well, and please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!